Dwayne Wade awarded spots in the All-Star Game by Commissioner Adam Silver, and they did not disappoint. Wade scoring seven points in 10 minutes of action, had a couple memorable alley-oop connections with LeBron. Meanwhile, Dirk scoring nine points in four minutes of action, sank all his three-pointers. Zero complaints, really. I mean, I did hear some, but that means that you are a poor sport, yes. a bad person, if you are complaining about them being in the All-Star Game. Um, does it set a good precedent for future All-Star Games? Bad precedent. A great precedent. Okay. Because that moment, not only for the league and the PR was great, guys, but the players really seemed to enjoy themselves. I mean, I was talking to Clay Thompson afterwards, and he's like, those two guys had such an impact on everybody here because right. they all tried to be those guys growing up and playing on their own rim. So it was a really cool thing to see, but what was cooler was the <coughs> response by their peers. Yeah, I agree. And if you look at the reaction every time Dirk or D-Wade did something, likely it was Dirk shooting a three. The entire bench got up on both sides. D-Wade, I was just so mad. I wish we got the shot of the off the backboard lob. And I wish he just spread his arms and looked right. at the camera <laughs> so we can have a throwback Thursday. They were working on it. They yeah, really they, did. They, they talked about it before the yep. game. So close. Wade was looking back. He's like, did I get it? Did I get so it? So close. It was, it was close. Although, OK, so I will, I will say, as much as I loved this, I thought part of what made it special is it doesn't happen all the time. Yes. These are two of the greatest guys who are going to come through the league, first ballot Hall of Famers, and it's unusual to know that you're in the last year of your career. And Dirk Nowitzki hasn't said it officially, but as Adam Silver remarked on Saturday night, you cannot watch him go up and down the court in Dallas and not know that he's in the last <laughs> year. I mean, Adam was kind of savage. He was like, you can't watch him without knowing yeah, he's, he's like, this, the is, this is the last one. This is the final straw for Dirk. But, but most, I mean, the reason why this whole Dwayne Wade last dance thing has felt kind of special is because most guys, it doesn't happen that often. We don't get the confluence of knowing, hey, it's my last year. I know it going in. Look at what happened to Carmelo Anthony, right? You can play on a team where you can actually still play. He's at a level he can actually still play. I, who would you put in next year? Like, how would this work if you did it on a regular basis? If you ha didn't have a player or players, like in this case, who were retiring, why didn't? Why don't you pick a player who is representative of that city who has had an impact on the game? Example, next season, Chicago. Why not Derrick Rose? You put Derrick Rose in the All-Star game. I mean, fans wanted, fans him, wanted him there. They, exactly. You know he still got the support from the NBA sure. fan base. Absolutely. But it, if you introduce him from Chicago, yeah. Derrick Rose, the United Center explodes. Right. And the NBA, once again, gets a great jolt when Adam Silver made the pick. And you don't have to do it every year, but if there is that tie-in, and it works, then there you go. And you know, I'm team Adidas, and I already talked to my Adidas people, and mm -hmm. they're already planning to explode, especially with his legacy. But to me, I think it's a case-by-case -case basis. Right. You don't have to have an honorary All-Star every year. But I do think at the tail end of these guys who are likely to be Hall of Famers years, like for instance, it would have been great to see Ray Allen in a three-point contest before he finished. Sure. Vince Carter yes. in a slam dunk contest. Just phase him out. I would Vince like to see Carter that. Vince Carter does not have to be a legacy pick. He Thank could be a real right. pick for the All-Star game. I'm he just could. saying. Um, <laughs> yeah, and by the way, I do want to also note this. Adam Silver revealed on Saturday night that the idea for having uh, Dwayne Wade and Dirk Nowitzki in this year's All-Star Game came from a fan. That there is a point on the NBA website, NBA.com, where you can write in to the commissioner and he said that he mostly gets complaints, but he also sometimes <laughs> there's a suggestion box and that a fan suggested it. That's there awesome. There you go. So there you go. You go suggest to Adam Silver what you want to see next year.